After starting Visplore, you can import your data from many sources. We are loading a CSV file now, but you could also import data frames from Python and many more. So, loading the CSV file starts with a preview of the dataset. This is a time series dataset here from uh, a turbine in hydropower. We have sensor measurements every four minutes, water temperature, oil temperature, but also some categorical variables here, like the operation state of the turbine. This is a real data set, and the goal was to predict this oil temperature from the other variables, to monitor it in real time. So let's load the data. The first thing we usually want to do is data screening, to see if the data is plausible, and to identify suitable training data for modeling the oil temperature. A special thing of Visplore is that you have predefined entry points into your analysis here on the left, these predefined cockpits. So let's start by looking at trends and distributions. And here we go. Without any setup, you have a list of statistics for each of the 21 sensors, a time series visualization, and a histogram. These views are already linked so if you select another sensor, you see how the other plots show that sensor. Now, often you have some outliers in the data. You can zoom in here and see that this drop to zero is not exactly plausible. So what can we do about this? Like in a drawing program, Visplore allows you to select these outliers and to clean them, for example, by linear interpolation. And you see, they're gone. Another important early step is checking the data completeness, so if you have missing values. For this, you can sort the sensors by the percentage of missing values, and see that actually many of the sensors have data only after April 2017. So maybe we can only use this part of the data for prediction. Let's look at our target variable, the oil temperature. This has no missing values, but here there was a renovation of the turbine. And so the data before is kind of obsolete. So yeah, we can only use the data after April and let's just select this data and filter to it. All right, this already looks better. But we still see something. Besides the normal operation, where the oil temperature was more or less steady, there are spikes here in the oil temperature. Let's zoom in and have a closer look. Yeah, so there are these shutdowns here. And we actually have categorical information in this data about the current operating state. Let's look at this. So we see that mostly it was normal operation, but then there were these shutdowns and on-ramps. And if we hover this here, you see these times already highlighted in the timeline. Then there were these shutdown periods and some on-ramp periods. Now this linking of categorical views with the raw sensor values is really a USP of Visplore. We only want to predict the normal operation, so let's focus on that and filter. And now it looks like useful data for prediction. Let's add the water temperature here, which is a possible input feature, and already discover some correlation. But for looking at correlations, we can switch to another cockpit. Here you see an overview of correlating variables. The red ones here have a strong positive correlation. Looking at oil temperature and water temperature, we also see a good correlation. It's not exactly linear, but we can switch the regression line to a quadratic polynomial, which fits better. And here we also discover two clusters. Why is that? Let's select one of them with a lasso. And we discover there has been some change here. 
but it seems for the most recent normal operation, after September, we now have selected a good, clean training data set. And we also found one possible input feature with the water temperature. We can export any visualization as an image at any point. And it's also possible to export the selected training data set to Excel for follow-up tasks. This concludes our workflow. We have checked if the data is plausible, cleaned it up a bit, discovered some correlating input variables, and finally exported our insights and selected data subsets for follow-up tasks.